Kind of something I'm gonna do with my game as well. <clears throat> Sorry, what was that last part? <clears throat> I didn't hear it very oh. well. Kind of something I want to do with my game as well. I am in the process Are of making you... one. Oh, nice. What's the game about? It's their typical Save the World plot where the world is being invaded by a group of six villains. Gotcha. Honestly, I feel like execution's a lot of times more important than like the concept itself. Yeah, you can have a good concept, but if you don't, if the execution is bad, then yeah. Yeah, I love that they literally took the game, it, like the map from the last game, and just plopped it right in here. <clears> Hi, <throat> right, this woman. She has actually something I'm gonna want from her. Thunder Raid. That would be a very helpful move. Yes. Especially for catching things. Especially for a snagging Shadow Pokemon, which is what we're gonna be doing a lot. Yeah. I guess that is a good reason to have Jolteon. Although, can all the evolutions like Thunder Wave? No. Only Jolteon. Only Jolteon. At least as far as I, I, at least as far as I know. I think that's so. I think they all learned toxic. <clears throat> Mimic is not very good in my opinion. No, it's not, and it doesn't make any sense <clears throat> that it learned seismic toss. Oh, Seismic Toss would be great on Blissey, though. Yeah, it's good on, like, uh, stuff that's not very strong. Yeah, so that way it gets more of a fighting chance. Right. Alright. Is that Gabe Miller, your favorite thriller or Lux Stone? You can consider this a retirement village. Elderly trainers at Pokemon lead quiet lives here. I right, this I believe are the, is where the um again that's much the name raider. But <clears throat> we'll say but, something yeah. very important down the line. And by that I mean post game territory. Gotcha. Have My you dad's played kidding. a lot of <clears throat> I'm sorry? Have you played a lot of uh XD? Before we've like done all the post game stuff available, I believe I found the post game stuff like one time, but the main yeah. story I played quite a few. But it's true, there really was a rail lord flying way up in the way up high in the sky. Hmm? Your face clearly shows disbelief. Hmm. You must think that old. Sandler must be docked in Dreamland. <laughs> I love that it just says ONBS. They don't even try and put anything else on the screen. <laughs> no. Also, you guys hope you don't. You're not in Dreamland, otherwise you'd be sued by Hell Laboratories. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not what we want. <laughs> no. Oh, something else I gotta bring a little bit of attention to. <laughs> I think it has more of a 3D angle in this game compared to a uh, Coliseum. Yeah. <clears throat> this old woman. In Coliseum, this would be in Mariana. And <clears throat> she says the, that Mariana is her boyfriend. <laughs> I heard this child calling for me, so I came here running. So it doesn't matter. Which, well, I found something quite nice. I know. We can have a battle. If you can beat me, I'll probably give you what I found. <clears throat> None of the trainers in Agate Village have a shadow Pokemon on them. 
obtaining as much battles as you can with your Teddy Ursa will especially help. Get some XP on your Jolteon as well. Yeah, not only that, but drop something Heart Gauge in um, Teddy Ursa here. <laughs> We'll use an Unearthed Ring. <clears throat> now, typically anything involving tongues creeps me out, but this is a more of an exception. Watch this. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> yes, hey. it's this tiny little head and just. This giant tongue is just... <laughs> they really said, we're gonna make one lick animation for the entire game. Here you go! <laughs> hey, at least oh it's a lot God. better than Sword and Shield. Yeah, there are definitely some animations in there that are... leave something to be desired. Yeti! Yeah, animations, quote-unquote. <laughs> yeah, they're... There's some stuff in there where it's like, hmm. Like it's a terrible move and usually I don't keep it for very long, but I just wanted to show that. This giant tongue comes out of this little cute bear. It is quite funny. <laughs> like I said, normally tongues creep me out, but that one I'm amused by. <laughs> ah, most impressive indeed. I hope that the graphics for the game, like the Pokemon games on the Switch, are better once they get more used to the system. I guess they've already done two games on it, but I'm assuming they'll do a third. <clears throat> yeah, the wild area in Sword and Shield looks like it can easily be rendered on the Nintendo GameCube. Yeah. <clears throat> of course, I say GameCube. <clears throat> and the vein of being positive with it looks like it can be more looks like it can even be rendered on the n64 yikes i think it'd be nice if in the wild area you could see pokemon from further away instead of just having them pop up honestly i'd rather have them being random encounters because i've gone through a couple areas using repels and i still run into the pokemon anyway yeah that can be frustrating It's at the point where, okay, just don't even bother with repels. And why am I going to the Pokemon Center? Yeah, it's. Pr I feel like usually it's pretty easy to avoid the wild Pokemon without repels. Repels have kind of like lost some of their value since they don't even get rid of all the Pokemon anyway. <clears throat> repels have lost all their value. Okay, this is the guy I wanted yeah. to talk to. Name Raider. I'm glad that he's pretty early in the game. That's why I was handed to the Pokemon for... Center. What are you thinking for names for Jolteon? <clears throat> okay. I decided to name it Leon as in... Resident Evil. Makes sense to me. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of wanted to have some Resident Evil reference in here. You know, it doesn't exactly fit. It doesn't really need to fit <clears throat> most of the time with Pokemon games. I feel like there's a lot of flexibility with them. Yeah, that's that's true. Hello, what a darling trainer you are. Hi, Bella. Do you want something of me? Oh, you can you say? Ah, so you come. I'm calling to see my husband. E yeah, we are. Ah, just I thought you were Michael. We've been expecting you. We got word about you from Lily, you see. We understand that you want to verify Shadow Pokemon. The intent, the 
Since my husband heard from Lily, why, you should have seen the excitement and enthusiasm. Cutting this goal's my services, or some such. He ran off running to who knows where. He hasn't come back since. And here's the guy, here's the old guy himself. Right on cue. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello dear, I guess Michael's just arrived. <clears throat> Oh, so you're Michael. We've been waiting. I'm Egan. I've heard everything that Lily had to say. As you know, to fear my child, welcome on. It must open the, its heart to, its, to the trainer. Well, there are several approaches. Battles are the best. No doubt at all. <clears throat> While there are shallow He's Pokemon, running. Yeah, quite agile for his old age. <clears throat> yep. All their shadow Pokemon, they can't, can't, they can't gain actual experience until they've been purified. They do get it all back though once they get purified. If I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, they do. Oh, that hill is very picky. Yeah, it kind of is. <clears throat> Ether, very good item to have. Very true. <clears throat> okay, now we'll go to the Pokemon Center and I love how the door is still left open. Oh, man. I didn't think the door would still remain open. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I did not want to talk to you again. I did not want to talk to you again. <laughs> Happens every time oh. without fail. Actually, this guy. <clears throat> hmm? For some reason, I feel dull and listless. I seem to have no energy at all. <clears throat> <clears throat> I've been wearing these new sandals with raised nubs on the inside. I was told it was a great invention. But... Does it actually do anything for my health? Yeah, someone actually <laughs> bought the unhealthy sandals. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, apparently Dr. Kamigo's inventions are used somewhere. Yes, where this am I? He's getting some sort of living. <laughs> I've heard that if you battle to open the hearts of Shadow Pokemon, they're all like... It's just this cape. Don't give up. Here's another way you can open the hearts of Shadow Pokemon. Plastic surgery. <laughs> Rip them open. <laughs> okay, I I tried to hold off on using the joke, but I just couldn't for long. Understandably so. I got a Zigzagoon and a Numble. I think it's interesting to me that for this game they started off with much lower levels than they did in Coliseum. This feels a lot more normal for the beginning of the game. Yeah, we're in Coliseum. <clears throat> yeah, both your Espeon and your Umbreon level 3. Yeah. And you get two starters as opposed to one. You also gain levels a lot slower in that game because of that, though. Yeah, as a result of being level 30. But, yeah. on my playthrough, I used both Espeon and Umbreon. I feel like it'd be, it's fairly common to use both of them. Yeah, somewhat. <laughs> Although, with Umbreon, all I did was bite, which... That's pretty much all you're doing with Umbreon is just bite, 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 bite. Yeah. Speaking of... Oh, I did attack only was not as strong an option as Espeon <clears throat> for most of the game. Not at all, no.
With that, we're taking down Gorps. Wow. Now that was something. Nice action. Oh, that's that something. There is no nothing. You know, aren't you? I've heard about you from Egan. Let's about right away. <coughs> Joel's. <coughs> Can I sound like he? He got the name from, like, The Last of Us or something. I never actually played through The Last of Us, and that's a really good game, but I think there's quite a few games that I haven't played through. I definitely should at some point. <coughs> I played a little bit of The Last of Us, and it is a pretty good game. <coughs> it's kind of classic with my, with my play style, so I'm not very good at it. Someday, sometimes a good game like you just won't vibe with like I was never that big a fan of Skyrim despite having tried to play it like five different times true and I can acknowledge GTA is a good game it's just not my jam I think that's true for a lot of people with Grand Theft Auto yeah like I tried to get into it because of because a friend of mine is into it I just yeah. couldn't <laughs> makes sense I feel like if you don't enjoy causing chaos and mayhem, it's hard to enjoy the game. There's also a lot of other little reasons that people could not enjoy it. True. I guess you could say that's why I enjoyed Undertale. <clears throat> yeah. Undertale's fun. Yeah, especially when you go down the <laughs> pacifist route. Like, yeah. a lot of the funny moments are on the pacifist route. Yeah. I feel like it's the type of game that they always suggest playing through more than once. Yeah. It's got quite a yeah, it's got quite a bit of replay value to it. <laughs> all all these battles are pretty straightforward at the beginning of the game. Things I feel like we'll get a little bit more involved once we get a little further in. Yeah, but also start requiring, requiring different strategies as you go on. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, that's a bit of a mechanic that we have yet to see. <clears throat> one in Colosseum that it would be reverse mode yeah and it gives counter rush a critical hit boost gotcha <clears throat> this game is more of an active hindrance <clears throat> I feel like in either way it's always to your advantage to just call them so that you get that shadow meter further down yeah very true, true. I really wonder what hour mark like, will hit before we finally get our first Shadow what Pokemon. What, what, fully. what am I thinking? In Colosseum, it's hyper mode. In this, in this game, it's reverse mode. Gotcha. I get the two mixed up. Yeah. Can I call after to get my uh, W's and my R's confused? Makes sense. Like sometimes I, like I would say like, weavers and not rivers. <laughs> I don't wonder what causes that to happen in the brain. Oh, easy. I just got it out of reverse mode too. Oh well. It's more of a blessing for me because more of its heart cage will go down. Yeah, it does help things go pretty quick. 
That way we, we might be able to get a usable <clears throat> Teddy Ursa before the three hour mark. <clears throat> I don't plan on using Teddy, Ur Teddy Ursa on my, actual, uh, on my actual team. Gotcha. How long, where do you think we'll start catching stuff that we'll actually want to use? <clears throat> I'd say... I'm wanting to say at our destination after the next destination, I would, I would say. Gotcha. So, decently so. end of the game. Yep, I called it. Bye bye. Tag team on Teddy Ursa. Yep. Go Pekiana, I guess. They got a decent chunk of its heart gauge now, too. It does help a lot. <sighs> Although I'm likely gonna have to get um, Teddy Rose uh, ready off screen. I think in order to purify like as many as we can, there'd be a lot of like off screen type stuff. <clears throat> Just for getting them purified. I feel like it doesn't tend to happen naturally throughout the game very easily. Maybe this to a certain extent, but not 100%. It would be that way in uh, Colosseum. Then again, in Colosseum, you meant to switch out your, your Pokemon as you use them to get them all purified. Makes sense. Oh, you better have Burn Heal! I love that when they uh, redid him in Let's Go, they gave him like more personality than I guess before. I guess in Fire Red, it's a little bit hard to see it, and then in Red itself, there's also only you can only really see the text. Then again, he kind of comes off as a mad scientist archetype. Yeah, really does. That's one of the things I like about Blaine, actually. He is quite entertaining. Yeah. As was Misty from the anime. True. Always going <laughs> crazy about something. I find an ordinary old man at others a plain old citizen. But I sure didn't he? Legendary trainer, he can beat me. Really him. I'm Kron. <laughs> now, I like this guy's trainer class. Bring it on, he <clears throat> says. I like the his fun class. old man! Some of the titles they give people in this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of the trainer classes. Got the casual guy, the bodybuilder, and now the fun old man. Yep. Oh, what am I doing? I feel like they got a little bit more creative with this game than they did with some of the other ones for how crazy they made the trainers. Yeah, that is true. <clears throat> it surprised me that for this, for this in Coliseum, they actually gave them a story and everything, <clears throat> and then they never made any games like them ever <clears throat> again. <clears throat> Look at you, Storm Shield. That's another problem I had yeah. with it, actually. Uh, story? Yeah, the story, quote unquote. Yeah. <laughs> There's no story in Storm and Shield, let's be honest. It was weird. I don't know. I still enjoyed playing it, but <clears throat> it Pokemon's definitely moving in a weird direction. <clears throat> yeah, where it's basically conflict is happening. Let Leon take care of it. Even though he's bad at navigation. 
Yeah. Get out of my hop. Complete the route. Get out of my hop. Kim challenge. Get out of my hop. Next Kim. Get out of my hop. Story conflict happens. Leap to Leon. Go to the next Kim. Always get out of my hop. 24 7. It just doesn't stop. There were a lot of rival battles. <laughs> a lot of rival battles. Hop has to be my least uh -huh. favorite. Rival. <laughs> and I use that term very loosely. I don't even remember the uh, Gen 6 rival at all. <clears throat> what is the Gen 6 rival? <clears throat> Rivals. There was a pack of five. Oh, those got, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I have not been impressed with the Rivals in a long time. I feel like they purposely have been making them easier when they weren't all that big a deal to begin with. Gary or <clears throat> Blue would have to be have to be my favorite rival of the bunch. I enjoy Barry quite a bit. <clears throat> yeah, he's a good one too. But just something about the uh, cocky, arrogant rival that's just fun to beat down and you know knock him down a peg or two. Yeah. I feel like it is hard to believe when they just keep losing. <laughs> it, it does make for it being more fun when you inevitably beat them. Yeah, it's a lot more satisfying than beating your friendly rivals. Like, wow. Yeah. Not to mention, <clears throat> on purpose, picking the um, starter that you have the advantage over. Yeah. If we get to his sword, what I'm going to have to do is <clears throat> pick the fire type, so hop and pick the grass type, go to Pokemon Home, um, 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 start that away. Get a, get a, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot of headache to give, um, Hoppy starter advantage over mine. And I don't like when I have to do that. Understandable. It's not, it's just an extra thing you have to do at that point. Okay, the legendary trainer, Egan, having as partner, PQ. How strong is this legendary trainer? Get you. <laughs> it's only level 12. Now, if I recall correctly, this PQ has static for its ability. I love that it lets us just fight a 2v1. <clears throat> yep, static. I appreciate that recovery, thank you. <laughs> Legendary Trainer. So very legendary. <laughs> Myth trainer, excuse me. Sorry, I didn't mean to get your <laughs> class wrong. <laughs> oh, look Bravo, like he's supposed to be a special character. Bravo. Like all these face bombing as you're saying that. What happened? What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> I used Thunder Shock on a Volt Absorb. I was the greatest trainer. My goodness, it was a white odd experience, our battle. And if you eat my PQ, that takes real skill, or you being an idiot. 
<laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> now let's see how your shuttle Pokemon is doing. Mm. Pokemon is not quite ready to open its heart to you. You should travel around with it, or perhaps get get a clue massages. After it's open, after it's exposed to some more of your kindness, bring it back here. Of course, if you'd rather battle all my friends, are reading like before. <clears throat> Off we go. <clears throat> Until we actually have something that we can verify. I do like that you can battle them as many times as, as you want. That is nice. It does make it so you could, like, purify things via battle if you wanted to. True. Don't they also get uh, purified just by walking around, but <laughs> it happens very slowly? Yeah, it's a very slow process. Can't want to buy three vivid cents. <clears throat> Typically, the effectiveness of clone massages depends on the nature of the Pokemon. Gotcha. <clears throat> we never did go through all these memos, did we? <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't. And we probably won't be. No. Yeah, let's use a scent I don't have. Oh, wait. The scents? The scent takes it out of reverse mode? Weird. <laughs> That's not okay. I did not know that. Neither. Why does this kind of look like a paint store? Get here so it can now be purified. Also, paint store? Like, they look like paint cans, almost. <laughs> uh, thank you. I can never unsee that now. <laughs> Am I wrong, though? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no, I, I, I saw these as soda cans, but thanks to you, I can't unsee them as, I can't unsee them as paint cans. I think it, it kind of looks like a mixture of the both. Like, the smaller ones are soda cans, the bigger ones are, uh, paint cans. Oh, that, that reminds me of a funny moment in the anime. I, maybe I'm the only one who thinks, of, thinks it's funny. But it's where in the Diamond and Pearl anime where they had a fake gym going on. <clears throat> you know, with complete with badges and everything. <clears throat> yeah. James tried to pass off soda bottle caps as a gym bag. <laughs> My. <laughs> Maybe I'm the one who thinks it's funny. I think it's funny. That is very funny. <laughs> I don't remember watching all of the Gen 4 one. I feel like I've seen parts of everything up through Gen 4, and then after that, I've seen like little clips here or there <laughs> afterward. Someday I might go back and like watch all of it. I've, I've seen, seen quite, quite a, there. I've, I've seen, seen quite a bit of the uh, Damn Pro anime, and maybe a few episodes of the Black and White anime. Gotcha. It'd be quite the task to go and watch all of the seasons of Pokemon back. Yeah, but it's something to do. It's true. <clears throat> It'd also be interesting to watch just how it changes. Yeah. <clears throat> out of Much. all, of, all of out of all of Ash's companions, I think I like Dawn the best. I feel like she did have quite a bit of personality. Yeah, being the polar opposite to um. Ash, pretty much, and seeing the yeah. the mentor relationship going on between the two. It was kind of nice to see how that worked out. <clears throat> I don't know, I think I still have nostalgia for uh, Misty. But at the same time, I feel like I enjoy May as well. It's cool seeing her with a Blaziken. Yeah. 
Hold on, that Pokemon has turned to its former self. For the time being, we should return to my house. <coughs> this is a cause for celebration. You successfully purified your first Shadow Pokemon without incident. Without incident. I had to revive my Teddy Ursa. <laughs> Yikes. So, one can't be too happy. Not with the knowledge of Professor know. Crane's abduction. You see, we have a frequent visitor to Agate up to several years ago. <clears throat> he was conducting extensive research into the Relic Stone, you see. He said that it was for completing an entirely new purification system that his friend thought up. Yeah, I wonder what that could be. No. I wonder where the kidnappers his head made off with Professor Crane. It must be worrisome for you too. About that abduction year, did you miss it mention Did you need to mention that Vander saw? Hmm? Oh yes, that's right. I need to tell you about Vander. <coughs> Vander. We have a friend. We have a friend. We have a friend by the name of Vander who is on Mount Battle. Which <laughs> is a place of training for trainers. I I love that he just lives on Mount Battle. <laughs> Pretty much. What a place to live. I feel bad for you if you live on Mount Battle. Really. Be a rough time. Vander claims to have seen sinister characters out in the desert. Where a few people dare to tread. <clears throat> Shouldn't we just go to the desert and look for a mysterious building? Maybe we can avoid going to Mount Battle? No. <laughs> You get it. Okay. Sounds intriguing, yes? Mount Battle is northeast. Be sure to visit it. Screw you. <laughs> oh, yes, Michael. May I have your PDA number? Like how. Oh, Egan, sure, why not? Like how Egan is basically this boomer type and he knows about the PDA. Yeah, that is kind of interesting. You'd think he'd be kind of anti-technology. But hey, he does have a TV there in his house. It really seems like it'd be the type that wouldn't have a lot of tech, but it, it seems to be fully fully fitted out. Well, to be fair, it is an old CRT. That is true. Although, at the time this game came out, I guess TVs have been out for a long time still. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, battle was uh, was that thing I was talking about, but I'd say it's good to it's a good place to stop our session. Sounds good to me. All right, join us next time where we go to Mount Battle, my least favorite place in the Pokemon universe. It can be quite the long journey. <laughs> yeah. See you guys then. <laughs>